Alrighty, so we're back here playing Dead Space. <clears throat> and where we left off, I had just bought the flamethrower. Uh, did I? Yes, I did. Okay, so I've got the flamethrower here. And we have just found the thermite uh, that we need to... It's a part of the uh, makeshift bomb that we need to construct so we can get through that thing. Uh, so we can get the code from the captain's body. Now, where do we go? Alright, we'll sort of go through here. Um, this place is just fucked up. There's water coming out of the vents up there. There's just blood everywhere. Was it this messy when I was here before? I can't remember. What does that say? I saw some text there. Evacuate the area immediately. Okay. Don't know why we're here then. Imaging diagnostic swing. Okay. Just trying to adjust my mic here a second. Okay. fuck is that noise? Oh, come on. Why does it have to get dark all of a sudden? Oh, fuck! <laughs> Shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Man, that's just brutal. It's so brutal. Look at all the blood that's on the thing there. Oh, bad luck, mate. Stop getting like off. Okay. Whoops. Don't want that. Don't want... Give me the plasma energy. Thank you. Okay, so I think our first zero gravity room is coming up here in a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my... F oh my god. Jesus Christ, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I literally thought, like, when we walked out that door in a vacuum or something, and it turns out to be... Okay, so here we go. This is what I was talking about with the power node. You can use, um... There are certain doors that are locked, and they require power nodes to open them. So that's why I always try and keep at least one on handy, so... Oh, I can't hear myself talk, because, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have ever, um... You found something down there, didn't you? Yes. We found something. So the texts were right all this time. I wouldn't be certain of that. There was nothing divine in what I saw. We must embrace this. We are the first witnesses. Matthias isn't letting anyone down in the colony. It's under quarantine until we learn more. To hell with Matthias. He of all people should know that this is greater than him, or the operation, or even the company. This is our deliverance. Keep your damn voice down. People are dying down there. Only the worthless and the unbelievers. But I believe do you believe, Terrence? Do you? Hmm, so some crazy shit's happening on the ship, apparently. Uh, before we landed on board, obviously. Now, what I was saying is, um, I don't know if you guys ever used a, uh, a G35 headset, but it completely encases your ears. So it makes it very hard to hear yourself speak. And I've got this setting on my, on my computer where I can actually hear myself talk through my mic, but, uh, I've turned it off. Uh, oops, didn't put myself on busy. Um... For some reason it's turned off, so uh, I'm actually finding it really hard to hear myself speak and I'm not just a bit that's just hurting. So I've got one power node. I should really hold on to it, but I might spend it. Uh, yeah, I'll hold on to it. Don't really need it right now. <coughs> Let's get going through here. Use kinesis on heavy objects that display this symbol. Okay. The magnet symbol. I'm really sorry guys, I'm gonna have to cut this short really quick. I'll be right back. I just gotta turn off Origin because it keeps making noises, so hold on. Alrighty, so Origin is closed. That's what those noises were, and I've set myself to busy on Steam. So we need to use our, use our kinesis here to move this big thing. It's really cool doing stuff like this, like I just love it man like the puzzle element. They found it really, like they added in puzzle elements to a survival horror game like this. Oh, shit! Oh, you yeah, don't, uh, no, wait. I got another one? Ooh, what's that with that? There we go. Oh, that sounds really loud. I hope you guys can actually hear me over the sound in the game. I keep trying to adjust my, what? What? Wow, that was fucking loud. 
What was that? Actually getting creeped out. <laughs> Make sure they're dead. Now can we unlock this? Oh, we need a power cell. Okay, so this is another common thing in the Dead Space games, to power up these doors here. Oh. What'll that do? Oh, I'll turn the elevator on, I guess, so we'll go in here first. Okay. Alrighty. Whoa! Oh! Buddy! Bad luck. That scared me. <laughs> wow, I'm really on- What the fuck?! Oh my god! Get the fuck away from me! Oh, fuck. Why am I getting so freaked out? <laughs> Our pulse rounds. I don't really think we need it. Am I going to buy the pulse gun? You never know. I'll drop those. Pick up the schematic might as well. There's some flamethrower ammo here too. Uh, which we're kind of low on. I'm not sure what I should do though. I might just wait. I'm not going to pick those up. I'll actually start using the flamethrower for a little bit. Just to get a feel for it. <clears throat> Is anything else going to fucking jump out at me? Fuck. Got this elevator here. I like how Isaac just kind of hunches over. <laughs> I don't know why. I just, I don't know. I'm weird like that. What the fuck are they? What? Computers, I guess. Space computers turning on. Oh, come on! Alright, come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, this thing really kind of sucks. Wait for me. Oh, he blocked me. What the fuck? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I'm not really a fan of that flamethrower. Seem to do a whole lot of damage. It took like a whole clip to kill that dude there. It's pretty gay. Not that there's anything wrong with being gay. No, that's right. Bring this thing back here. So I was wondering whether I'd do a Dead Space 2 playthrough after this. Uh, I mean, these games aren't too big. This game has 12. Come on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Thank you. These games aren't too big. This game has like 12 chapters. Did I drop anything over here? No, I didn't. And uh, Dead Space 2 has got 15. But uh, not terribly long, so maybe I will do a Dead Space 2 playthrough. Just depends if my awesome computer can handle it or not. Some stuff on the walls here. It's always pretty cool to like just check out what people have written. I've heard from someone else that you can, you can decode this stuff, but I'm not positive on that. I don't actually know if that's true or not. So... Okay, so we're in our first vacuum here. And uh, as you guys can hear, the sound is like all muffled because, yeah, space right there. And uh, I thought this was incredibly cool when I first saw it. I mean, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It just looks gross. I mean, <laughs> it looks awesome is what I meant to say. Um, and I like how the sound's all muffled as well. And uh, it's actually kind of... Oh, air cans are the worst. If you just if you play properly, you really you'll never need to use them. So I never bother. One other thing about um, being in a vacuum like this: not only are you timed. Man, look how big the ship is. Not only are you timed, um, but yeah, the music doesn't play when enemies jump at you, so you actually don't know, and it can be quite scary. As you know, Yushimura is able to set his gravity locus. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero g area. Yep, too easy. So we're entering the first zero gravity area here, and this is probably my favourite thing about this game. <laughs> Lights are turning on. Just how big is it? Is that a body? Get out of there. So we'll ammo will flash red if you can't jump to a surface. Sure thing. Okay, so zero gravity. Wow, it's really quite loud. I hope you guys can hear me. Sorry if I'm yelling. Uh, 
first we'll grab this. Ventry's full anyway. So I won't bother trying to grab everything around here, but I'm sure there's a schematic around here somewhere. Anyway, this is how zero gravity works. Uh, we can jump to a surface here. How do we jump? Already forgot. Already forgot. Uh, already forgot. Um, okay, we're just gonna have to check the controls here really quick. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I forgot. I even looked at it and I'm like, okay, that's how you do it. Um, no. Are you... Okay, come on. Uh, zero G jump. Control. Okay, so it's control. Okay, so this is uh, zero gravity. And then the entire perspective just like flips around. It's really... It can be really confusing sometimes. And uh, it's especially confusing when like enemies... Uh, enemies start coming out and like attacking you and stuff. But um... I think it's incredibly awesome. This is like one of the best things about the game, in my opinion. Just uh, stuff like this. So we'll go to this platform over here. Just grab one of these batteries and plug it in here. There we go. I like how Isaac sort of does like a moon step. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Exiting zero gravity. Exiting zero gravity. And here are the shock pads. So we've got the shock pads. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Yep, no worries, man. Alright, so we have what we need to make our bomb. Now we need Entering to head back. Gravity. Oh. Shit. Best to just run, I think. How do we jump again? Oh, <laughs> I can't believe I immediately forgot that. Get the... Get the fuck away. Alrighty. It can be very disorienting when they, uh... When they all jump at you like that. It can be incredibly disorienting. Especially with the mouse, it's actually quite hard to control. Luckily we're out of there. Exiting zero gravity. Can head back through the vacuum. Entering vacuum. Alright, so let's go make our bomb and get out of here. Can we get that? No, we can't, okay. Oh, fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, Matty. Die. Let's shoot you off into space, actually. Come here. Grab your head. Catch you later. <laughs> Imagine if he was alive and I still did that. But it's, oh my god! Dude! Like, almost every enemy this video has just scared me. <laughs> oh man. Anything else gonna jump out? Shit. Some more stasis. What does that say? Infidels. Wow, call me crazy, but I just forgot what that word means. Isn't that like something that an evil dude will say at you if you mess with his plans or something? Oh my god! Oh man, and I was like prepping myself up for it and everything. Alrighty. So I don't know if I'm gonna actually... Oh my god, Jesus. I don't know if I'm gonna actually um, power up the flamethrower at all. I mean, it doesn't seem to be that good. But uh, we'll see how I feel. At a later date. And, uh, Jesus Christ. What's that? Oh, it's just a hand, okay. Pretty gross looking hand. Uh, how many power nodes do I have? Just the one still? No, two. Okay, so we can power something up here. Oops. Screenshot saved. 
Oopsie daisies. Okay. So, uh, I might power up my rig, actually. Actually, no, nah, I'm gonna power up my plasma cutter. There's one in this slot here. So now we're one space closer to some damage. I always like to go to the go to the uh, damage nodes first. This is how I like to play. Because, um, free damage is free damage, right? Oh, God! Oh, get off me! Oh my God! I can't believe forgot about these. Ah! Oh my God! They killed me. No way. <laughs> oh my God! Where am I gonna start from? Oh man. If I start all the way back at my save point, I'm gonna fume. I'm gonna rage so hard. Okay, good. Okay, good. Do I have any flames? Yes, I do. I completely forgot about these. Get off me. God, get off me. Oh, oh man. Wow, that was pretty embarrassing. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> that was incredibly embarrassing, actually. Oh, I'm so glad that I s just, just auto-saved here. Shit. I was going to hit the fan. So I guess the flamethrower is good for them, unless you don't have ammo, but... Yeah, those little things are just like... I don't know what they are. They're just like little leeches or something. They just like jump on you and you have to like spam E or A or whatever. Uh, to get them off you. Um, wow, I can't believe they killed me. Fuck, they did so much damage. I'm playing on normal. This isn't hard. But, uh... I've got a feeling I should save it, just because that happened just there. <laughs> but, uh, first we'll go to the store. And, uh, I should add the stuff. Yep, pulse rounds. Okay. I'm debating whether, I'm, whether or not I should sell the flamethrower. If I sell that and buy the pulse rifle, 